Okay, so today let's begin with uh, the chapter known as uh, Standard Costing and Variance Analysis. Okay, now what is this Standard Costing all about? Fine. Now to understand Standard Costing, you need to first understand what is Standard Cost. Okay. So note down all these things. Now standard cost ka meaning in simple language is predetermined cost is known as standard cost. Okay. A pre-cost or an estimated cost is also known as standard cost. Okay. Budgeted cost we go through. If you want to say what is a standard cost, then you can say it is a cost which tells you how much the cost should be under specific conditions okay this is the meaning of the hand say for example If I tell you my raw material cost is say rupees 10 rupees per unit, okay, okay, but actually, when you go to the market, your raw material is of 12 rupees, okay, so this 10 rupees is nothing but your standard cost. Or pre cost, which you estimate. Okay, and this 12 rupees when you paid, this is known as actual cost. Okay, so what is standard cost? It's a predetermined cost which tells you how much the cost should be under a specific condition. Okay, say for example, if I show you, uh, say, a pencil and I ask you uh, what should be the cost of this pencil so by just looking at the pencil or by touching the pencil you can just give a rough estimate about the pencil uh, price okay or the cost of the pencil okay but actually what you end up paying is different than what you have estimated okay so what you estimate or what you have predetermined a cost okay Okay, looking into the relevant conditions, then that is called as a standard cost, and what you actually end up paying is the actual cost. Okay, so we will generally find a difference in the price that you had estimated and in the price that you had actually paid. Okay, is that clear? What is a standard cost, everyone? Now understand what is standard costing. Okay, so if I have to tell you what is standard costing, okay, write down this. So standard costing is what? It is one of the techniques for calculating total cost. So if anybody asks you what is standard costing, so just say it is one of the techniques for calculating total cost. The technique further helps in controlling cost and to achieve the sales target with a view to earn desired profits. Okay. 
so you are see i have given you an example yeah if my cost is 20 rupees so that is the pre cost and the standard cost for the estimated cost then i have bifurcated my cost out of this 20 rupees 10 rupees is for raw material 5 rupees is for labor and 5 rupees is my overheads okay so many cost price for further bifurcated company 20 rupees of 30 rupees is a cost price so 10 rupees is raw material 5 rupees is labor and 5 rupees is over it. Okay. What did I just tell you? Just now, what did I tell you? Yeah. What happens? There will be always, what did I say? There will be always generally a difference between standard cost and the actual cost that you have paid. Always. So, see, I've explained this with an example pre-cost minus actual cost that difference in cost will always give you okay the difference in pre-cost and actual cost is known as variance okay so there are two types of variance a favorable or an adverse variance okay yes, here I have given you an example. Material labor over it. Okay. So my pre-cost, that is the standard cost. I have assumed it to be 10, labor 5, and over it. Okay. Then my cost price is 20. Hmm? But actually my wrong, my uh, what you call it? Actually my wrong material is 12 rupees. Labor is 4.5. And over it is 5.5. So this total makes it to. Yeah. 12 plus 4.5 plus 5.5. 20 rupees. Okay. So the difference 20 and 22 makes it to 2. There is a difference of 2 rupees. Which you have to decide whether it is a favorable 2 rupees difference or it is a, neg uh, a negative 2 rupees difference. Okay. Now I will make it a bit simple for you all. Now try and understand what I am saying. Now you business ke point of view. Se okay. So our standard cost, not a free cost. Raw material ka kitna hai? 10 rupees. And actually, you have paid 12 rupees. Okay? So, you have thought how much it was? 10 rupees. But how much it was from your pocket? 12 rupees. So, you have paid more than 2 rupees, right? Which is not good for the business. So, this is known as an adverse balance. So, we write the word 2A. So, the difference between standard cost and actual cost is known as variance. And variance is of two types. A negative variance and a positive variance. So negative variance is denoted with the letter A. So we call it 2A. Okay, you can reverse the example. If you had estimated your standard cost to be 12 and your actual cost was 10, then it is good for the business. So you will write here 2F. Okay, so if your answer is positive, you will write favorable. If your answer is negative, you will write adverse. Okay, simple as that. So if you look here in raw material, this is 2 minus 2. So in standard costing, we don't write minus 2. We denote it with like this, 2A. We come to labor. Okay, 5 rupees ka labor, you got it for 4.5. So you save 50 paisa. So that is favorable. Okay, so we write it as 0.5F. Same goes for overheads. 5 rupees for overheads, you ended up paying 5 rupees 50 paisa. So you paid 50 paisa more. Not good for the business. Negative balance. So you will write 0.5A. 
okay is it clear till here everyone is it clear till here so if you are asked the definition of standard fasting So what will you say? Standard fasting uses standards. That is free cost standards for cost and revenues for the purpose. of control this word is important to variance analysis okay So what is the process okay so if anybody asks you what is the process of variance analysis So the process of variance analysis is first yeah. ascertainment of standards. measurement of actual performance next determining if any and last analysis of variance and rectifying the same So this is a process of yeah. so this is called a step one then comes step two then comes step three and then comes step four again initiating the same Exactly, same thing happens. See, so, yeah. I give you the same thing. What do you do? You first see your pre cost. Whatever. 
what do you mean by that ascertainment of the standards okay then second step says what measurement of the actuals okay that is you compare it with the actual cost okay फिर उसके बाद प्री कॉस्ट मैनेज एक्चुअल कॉस्ट गिव्स यू वॉट इट गिव्स यू वरायंस तो थर्ड स्टेप इज डिटरमाइनिंग द वरायंस इज इफ एनी वाई इफ एनी बिकॉज इट कैन इवन हैपन दैट यू रॉ मटेरियल इज टेन स्टैंडर्ड एंड योर एक्चुअल इज ऑल्सो टेन इन सच केस देर इज नो वरायंस इट इज जीरो दैट इज वेर द थर्ड स्टेप इज इफ वरायंस इज आर देर ओके एंड इफ यू गेट अ एडवर्स और अ फेवरेबल वरायंस If it is an adverse variance, then what we use do we will try to rectify it how by making it favorable. And if it is already a favorable variance, obviously we will try to improve it further. Okay? Because jitna tumara variance favorable hoga, tumara cost utna hi minimize hoga. Jitna cost kam hoga, utna profit aapka badega. Okay? Is this clear? Okay. So this is what I meant by this. steps i mean process of uh, variance analysis okay so the example that i just mentioned to you it is the same step okay ascertainment of standards first you decide your to estimate your standard cost measurement of actual performance then you uh, calculate your actual cost that is whatever you are actually paying from your pocket and third you see the difference between uh, the standards and the actuals that is known as variance and last is once you analyze your variance variance whether it is at uh, favorable or it is what you call adverse then you try to rectify the same okay is it clear to you This is very important. Yeah. So write this down. Standards are set at the beginning of the year by the manufacturer, which is then compared by actual cost at the end of the year. Okay, that is your step one and step two. Okay, first you have to set your standards in the beginning, and then you have to compare it with the actual cost that you have paid by the year end. The difference between standard and actual cost is known as variance. So there are two types of variance: positive variance and negative variance. Negative variance is called adverse variance, denoted with capital letter A, and positive variance is known as favorable variance, denoted with capital letter F. So when these anal uh, variances are analyzed, it then helps in uh, you know effective decision making process. Okay, what did I tell you? If your variance is negative, what do you do? You will obviously try to make it positive. Okay, so an adverse variance indicates a need for better and effective controlling of cost. It also indicates a need for better and effective decision-making process with respect to the sales target, your total cost, and profit. Okay. In non-nutshell, if you have an adverse variance, how will you rectify? You will rectify by making it a positive or a favorable variance. If a variance is favorable, it automatically indicates that your total cost is in control. And so you are having a good profit. Okay, yeah, this is the reason. Next, a favorable variance indicates good business and further scope for improving sales and profitability. Okay, you can try to have a more further more favorable variance. Okay. In standard costing, total cost is divided into yeah, four types. So you have you have raw material, 
and we have raw material cost, then labor cost, and then overheads. And overheads are further divided into variable and fixed. Okay. Fine. So based on this, based on this, students, how will you study? Yeah. We will study material variances. Based on this, you will study labor variances. Based on this, you will study variable overheads variances. Based on this, you will study fixed overheads variances. Then based on profit, you will study profit variance. And based on sales, you will study sales variance like this. Very, very important. Note it down. Okay, so if you remember, whenever whatever chapter we started with, I always explained you the different types of cost in that chapter. Okay, I had always said this formula C plus B equal to S. It is the basis of, you know, all the chapters in cost accounting that you learn. The objective of cost accounting as a subject is this. Controlling cost C, profit, estimating profits, and S, selling price, determining selling price. Okay. And then fourth is controlling cost, your total cost. And fifth is reporting to the management. Correct. Okay? Now, all these things uh, is justified in every chapter that you learn or every technique in cost accounting that you learn. Okay. Just a marginal cost. Now. Total cost was how? divided into two types fixed and variable okay then we uh, did a transport costing the total cost is divided into two fixed and variable but there the definition of fixed and variable cost also keeps differentiated okay then when we did cost sheet cost was divided into direct cost and indirect cost which was further divided as direct material, direct labor, direct expenses, and indirect cost was divided as factory overheads, selling and distribution overheads, and admin overheads. Okay. And then we did process costing. When you must have done process costing, their total cost is divided into material, labor, your direct expenses, and your factory overheads. That's it. Okay. Similarly, in standard costing, cost is divided as raw material cost, labor cost, variable overheads, and fixed overheads. Okay. Okay. And based on all these individual costs, you have your variances that you will be studying in detail. So usually you cannot get a complete preview of the theory. That is the reason I said while I write or while I am talking, you can jot down the theory theoretically. See if you can take a screenshot like this. Is this okay, Anjali? Let us come to the other part of the theory. Let us understand what are the advantages of this method. Okay? Because this all comes in 
एग्जाम राइट ये सब एग्जाम में पूछा जाता है एडवांटेजेस ऑफ दिस मेथड ऑब्वियसली द फर्स्ट एडवांटेज इज दैट यू कैन ट्रीट इट इन माय न्यू स्टैंडर्ड्स स्टैंडर्ड्स आर ट्रीट इट इन माय prior method to four prior to the actuals or the actual cost okay so what happens In a nutshell, I would like to tell you. These are standards, eh? Na, okay. They actually act as goals that a manufacturer has to reach. They act as goals to be reached. Next. timely and effective control on the cost can be incurred based on Analysis analyzed. Okay, what did I tell you? Once you know your variance is negative, then you know what effective decision making you have to do so that that negative variance becomes a favorable variance for you in the future. Okay, so I mean that. 